Our next guest called games one, two, four, and five of them on TNT. He's Kevin Harlan back here on the show. How are you, Kevin? I'm great. I'm intrigued by the the son and the daughter story. That, that, yeah, I'm laughing. <laughs> in the break. Kevin, my eight year old. I don't know where he's picking it up, but he said that his butt was itching and asked his sister to see if there was anything on it. Let one fly. And I was one of those situations where, what do I do as a dad? You know. Well, yeah, I know it. That, that, <laughs> can you get? You have any advice there, for me, Kevin? You got any? That one. You got any there's advice? For, uh, no, I, I, we have it. We've had four, uh, but we had three girls and the boy, and the girls never did it to our son. <laughs> so I don't. <laughs> which is always a good sign, I guess. That's a great story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the truth that that happened. I love it. That happened love before. It. I'm sure you handled it like a pro dad that you are. Well, you know what? It it, it was to use the sports phrase. It was kind of like that 12-6 knee buckler curveball. Like my, I, I, you know, <laughs> not expecting it. Kind of froze. Kind of froze at it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> that's what it was like um so oh, let, let's man. get into the last night of it all you've seen it you've had a front row seat behind the mic you talk with the man you've seen you've seen it firsthand how does greg popovich do it kevin i know that's a macro question but i'll just leave that to you how does he do it all the time it's it's not done in the night before or the practice before the shoot around that morning, it's done from the time they become Spurs, whether they sign in the summer, but it, 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 it's a year round scheme and culture that does not waver. It's, it's incredibly uh, similar to what the Patriots do. There is a culture in place. There is a standard which needs to be met. There is a discipline and an order with which they do things. So you lose an all-star maybe an MVP, certainly a two-time reigning defensive player of the year in Leonard, and the team doesn't blink. It gives a chance for the Patty Mills and the Jonathan Simmons and some of these other kids to get up and, and, and show that they belong. They get a chance to highlight what they've learned, what they've observed. And when you pass it on from guys like Duncan to Parker and Parker to Ginobili and then Ginobili to the others, you know, there there is a certain feel that you carry into regular season games, into practices, into film work, and, and certainly into playoff games like last night, and they don't blink. And it was a carryover, I thought, certainly from the overtime game um, the, the two nights earlier when Harden is out of gas, he's turning the ball over in overtime, the ball is sticking, there's no ball movement, they've, they, they've lost their, their, their compass is all over the place. The compass of the Spurs does not change it is pointed in one direction and they all follow and more importantly uh, like with belichick and the game plan those coaches hand out in new england they all believe in the process they believe in that culture well and it's interesting you bring up belichick and and it's 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 nothing novel but i just brought it up before as well but that said it, it just because it's been mentioned before it doesn't mean that it doesn't have to be mentioned again I mean, the similarities are striking, obviously, with Popovich and Belichick, and then Brady uh, would be taking the, f the the form of Brady would be Duncan or David Robinson, or now in the case of Kawhi Leonard, who's who is still ascending, um, and in a way like Brady, uh, overlooked um, in, in a manner, um, and then situationally brilliant in in spots where other teams may not might not be, not just in real time, but in the game planning that. Uh, is fungible depending on the the situation in front of them and what the the best thing that their opponent can do and take it away. Uh, and, and again, you call Patriots games on CBS. Uh, what do you see on that front, Kevin? Well, when you say situationally brilliant, I mean you've captured it right there. That's they prepare for everything. The attention to detail is is always there, and we hear that term in the process. We hear that with Saban in Alabama, with Belichick in New England, and that is. There is no deviation in that thought process and what the and what the Spurs do in the NBA. They they have a culture there that is not like any other in the league. If if there was one approaching it, it might be Golden State because of the people they've got in place. And whenever you hear that it is a players' league, it, it is. I mean, there's no doubt that the NBA is. But with every and, in, and instead of being a bunch of individuals, they are such a team. 
And only a team could have done what they did last night and embarrass, you know, historically embarrass another team on their floor in a crucial game six of the second round in the playoffs. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. I mean, you're, 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 you're talking about uh, the absence of a, of a point guard who will be in the Hall of Fame, a 39-year-old Hall of Fame to be, maybe the greatest European player or, or international player this league has seen in terms of what he accomplished overseas and what he's now accomplished in this league in Ginobili. Um, it, it, it is amazing. And, and, and when they do suffer a setback, the, the, the great – organizations they fill it in without and that's why Popovich is so kind of matter of fact about well he can't play so we're gonna we'll get somebody else and they're all schooled the same way they follow the same regiment and the Patriots are the same way too that you know look look at the lack of like I know you've talked about this with Brady but I mean how many Hall of Famers has he really played with I think we talked about this at the Super Bowl Uh, uh, so few I mean over the course of his career Belichick has not coached that many Hall of Famers in New England yet they've had all these all the success all the Super Bowl uh, rings and appearances and everything else and and Popovich while he has got the rings and all the the the, the litany of of great accomplishments they may have had a few more Hall of Famers along the way but it's a game that has more superstars than any of the other leagues combined almost when you think about it when the NBA just that's just the way the league is made up Kevin Hart. Think about, I mean, transcend. They, they, they've just, they've been able to just harness in any ego and funnel it in the right direction. And again, last night is a great case in point of what they do so well. Kevin Harlan joining me here, and then in the in the world of the super team, right? Uh, Barkley went on DP show the other day and said that it's the, the, the it's kind of diluting the league. The playoffs of this year prove that. And now, so the Spurs, in a way. Um, for those who believe the league is in trouble because the Durants of the of the world are joining uh, a team that won 73 regular season games last year, the Spurs, in a way, could be a savior for those who think that the league needs to be saved from that situation. All that said, all the hosannas that we just threw in the direction of Popovich and rose petals on, on the hardwood, um, it seems like they're going to need everything to try and beat the Warriors here. How do you handicap this series that starts on Sunday with Leonard expected to be ready for San Antonio, Kevin? And that probably that's the linchpin, Rich. I mean, he, they, he's got to play, and, and I don't know if they'll try to exploit that ankle and put him in situations where he's been, you know, it, uh, uncomfortable, which is what Golden State, all good teams do that. But I think that the Spurs will rely on what you know they'll they'll, they'll stick with their efficient. Uh, precise type of defense and offense, which has gotten to this point. Um, I think it's a proven commodity. And even on the regular season, I think they beat them two out of three times. That, that's washed away in the postseason. You wouldn't even consider that. And we've got, again, stylistically kind of different teams, much like the Rockets and the Spurs were. Stylistically, they're different. Um, but at the end of the day, as we know in the playoffs, things do slow down. It becomes more half court. And that gives, I think, San Antonio very much of a fighting chance. And, and there have been times, you know, sprinkled throughout this season for Golden State, as great as they are, as historically relevant as they are, that they've had, you know, in late game clutch situations, there has been a moment of pause. Who's going to take the shot? Where are they going to be? How is it going to be handled? I don't know if that has all been ironed out, but it, there, have been, there have been a few moments this season when, they've, when they have uh, stuttered a little bit. They've hit a speed bump, and I think – that adds a little intrigue to this series. And the coaching for both sides will be magnificent. There's no doubt they'll be well-prepared. This will be a series to watch, and I think really, really pay note. I think the people that watch this game so closely, and there's so many great reporters and guys that write for different publications and write on the Internet, they pick this thing apart, and they're, they're going to find such relevant stories along the way that it'll paint, it'll paint this great picture of this series. This is must-watch TV. This this series will be must-watch TV, and I don't know if I could pick a winner because I do think each team presents a very different feel, mm. and, and it'll be interesting to see what will will prevail at the end. The minute I have left, what are you hearing about Steve Kerr? Do you think we'll see him in this series, Kevin? Um, I hope so, but Mike Brown is obvious, and that staff with Ron Adams. I mean, they've got it; they're, they're as good as the San Antonio staff is. But an interim coach is never the main voice like Kerr's is. And when they do have those moments, which will intersect with a big part of the series or a game or whatever, it'll be Mike Brown's voice and not Steve Kerr's voice. Um, as most people know, Kerr's had the, the spinal fluid leakage 
They, I think he just had some recent surgery at Duke. Um, this is one of the bright people in, in all of sports, is Steve Kerr, as we know. And I, I just think that sometimes the, the higher the stakes, the bigger the platform and stage, the brighter that light. You know, you, you, these, these players at this time of year, coaches have told me, want coaching and guidance and leadership more than at any other time of the season. The, it, it all comes to a head right now. As great as the greats are, they want leadership. They want to follow. They need coaching. And that voice will not be there. That is another interesting facet of this series. Kevin, thanks for the knowledge and for your attempted parental advice. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I laugh so hard. I'm, I'm telling you that that's a great story. You'll remember it forever. And the kids will remember it forever. I know. <laughs> I know. Thanks. Thank you, Rich. Take care, Kevin. That's Kevin Harlan. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it.